Today we're going to be inspired by the water lily paintings of Claude Monet. Here I've laid out my damp rag, my coloured cardboard and a few colours of acrylic paint. We're going to use masking tape to make a stencil of the bridge. Cut about an inch of masking tape and then cut it in half lengthwise. Make a few of these strips and put them aside. Have your piece of cardboard sitting in a landscape format like mine and then just a little under halfway down the side of the cardboard we're going to stick your first piece at an angle like that. Do the opposite on the other side and in the middle we're going to put two strips to make a gentle curve of the handrail of the bridge. We want the curve to be fairly smooth. As you can see here, it's a little bit foxy, so I'm going to cut off the top corners of that piece of tape. Repeat the same process above for the other handrail. So we have the two handrails, now we're going to add the footbridge. Follow that curve, but this time we won't cut our tape in half. Let's add some horizontal posts to hold up our handrails. Get a rough measurement, cut your piece in half, and that's your first post. Put down another one next to it. Then another two in the middle. And two at the other side. Now it's time to get messy finger painting. Remember that anywhere that you've stuck down the tape will act like a stencil, so the paint won't go wherever we've put the tape. So we're going to finger paint to suggest a garden. Now you might be thinking, finger painting's only for younger kids. Well, I don't believe that so. It's fun to get messy. If you want to change colour, make sure you wipe off your finger on your damp rag. How about using two different colours at once? Let's see what that does. Remember every time you change colour to wipe your hands clean on the rag. So this area down here is the water. There's water lilies there and there's reflections of the garden above. Make sure you've painted close to all of your stencil bits. And when you're happy with it, wash your hands really well and dry them. Now you're going to peel off your tape very slowly and very carefully. I want you to go as slow as possible because it's easy to rip the cardboard underneath or make a bit of a mess. So just one strip at a time.
tell this bit's going to rip so I'm going to come back to that later. Oh and I've got a bit of paint on my hands now so I'm going to wipe that off before I peel. that side's going to rip as well so I'll come from the other end. That stencil effect looks awesome. Now that's option one. If you want to do option two, grab a small paintbrush and load it thickly with some blue and some white paint and we're just going to draw long thick strokes and mix the colours a little bit. 